What's up YouTubers, King of Lions here. So one of my headlights blew out, we're gonna be switching out some headlights today. With my man, Clint Eastwood. Earlier in the week, right after I did my tune, out cruising around, making sure everything was okay with the engine, and having a little bit of fun, of course. Then all of a sudden, my driver's side light flashes up, says it's not working, so I immediately think that the tune is causing some issues. So I get home, turn the light off, turn it back on, and it works just fine. Then about three minutes later, it shuts off again. So anyway, I ordered a pair of HID Xenon headlights. The AKI guy, you're gonna have a little bit of uh, like cold blue, and There they are right here. Yeah, as you can see, no name brand. <laughs> Headlight bulbs, made in China. You can see by the address. I'm not gonna doubt it's made in China. So I got those off Amazon. I got two of those for $40. When I take a picture of it, there's almost like a purple essence about them. But when I'm looking at them, all I see is a, like a cool blue look. I was able to do it yesterday. It warmed up from eight degrees up to like 28 degrees. So it felt like it was a nice warm day. I still have my winter jacket on and as you can see, wearing that jacket caused a little bit of issue when I was filming the video. Uh, thankfully, everything's all good. It takes a couple minutes. It's really not a pain at all. All right, so we need to start with uh, loosening these up. So there's the four bolts here, run along the cover, make sure you take those out first. After you have those out, this will just pull up, pop right out, go for the housing. Alright, so we have the bolt here removed. Get this one out. Make sure you do not lose them. All right, so there's uh, another bolt back here next to the intake housing. Now, just make sure when you're also loosening those up, you don't pull them out all the way. Uh, unless you feel like spending a lot more time trying to get them back in because you can just loosen them up and the headlight assembly will slide right back into place if you can tighten it up and you don't have to worry about trying to dig behind to where the intake's at and it's extremely narrow over there even if you have a magnetic tip on your Torque 25, T25 it's still going to be a pain so just saying don't take them out Alright, so with that little bit allow me to slide this out about an inch Alright, so what I'm noticing is the grill is actually catching on it. So I'm gonna try to pull this side out first and then pull back over here. It looks like that did the trick. All right, so and I did just lose the seal. It goes right here and just fell in there. All right, so I have both the headlights out now. So I'm gonna go where the housing's at. And that is right down here. I'm just gonna give a quick turn. A little filled up with dirt. And the ones that came with the car, I believe are the Phillips uh, D3S. And those are supposed to be the top quality. I think they have something like 10,000 hours. The price of one of these I think was even more than the price of two of the ones that I've gotten. And it was also like a 5,500K compared to an 8,000. We're gonna see how these 8,000 work. If they're garbage, whatever, I'll just go with the Phillips. But I wanted to try them out at least. All right, so to remove the actual bulb here, First you want to unplug this here, and then you want to turn counterclockwise, and it should pop right out depending on how much stuff is actually built up on the light itself. So counterclockwise, here we go. That's only a slight turn, and it should pull right out. Here it is. Now let's get the uh, new 8K. They do look very, very similar. Maybe the quality of the one on the right, which is the Phillips, seems a little sturdier. Let's get it installed. So remember it was a slight quarter turn. Let's make sure it doesn't touch anything. So this time when we put it in, it's going to be spinning clockwise, feel it lock in. Now one thing that you might want to do is plug this in first. We're going to see how difficult it is to plug it in once it's already in. Okay, actually it was quite easy. Snaps right in, good to go. On to the next one. Uh, this is the one that was blown out, so let's see if there's noticeably any difference here. Actually before I do that, let me put this cap back on. 
that just snapped right back in place. So now for the driver's side. Ooh, that has a lot built up. There we go. Pull this out. Now, you don't want to be too forceful with it. If you can see, there is another plug back here. So when you're pulling that out, don't rip it. Uh, it is zip tied in there. Counterclockwise, just like the other one. This one's uh, pretty tight in there. There it goes. Uh, you can see some spots on the side here. When you shake it, it is absolutely broken. Now we're gonna install the other one. Put that in there, make sure not to touch anything. Give a quick turn. Now there are three pins in the plug, so you don't wanna be too forceful with it. You wanna make sure it's lined up and that it snaps all the way back in there. All right, so we're gonna OCD this a little bit, make sure this is facing up. There we go. Looks good. Now we're just gonna put it back in and see what they look like. I put the driver's side in. That's the easy side because it doesn't have the intake. At first, the most difficult part was lining these two screws up to tighten up the uh, light housing back to this piece here. Uh, it's a pain to try to get the headlights to actually get back into where those bolts are unless it's in the track. If it's in the track, they actually just go right in place and tighten them up. Uh, maybe one of the other issues is the rubber seal that's attached to the headlight here. See, there's two little holes up here. It's gonna clip in right around here. Now on mine, it looks like they are broken off. That's why it fell off so easily. On the driver's side, it wasn't that way. So this is gonna be even a little bit more difficult now. When you originally push it in, it's gonna go past here and you kind of have to move it forward a little bit so you don't want that seal to get caught up here. Just make sure it stays in place underneath here along the housing. Okay. So now that it's in the channel, you wanna make sure the seal stays tight. Just feed it right back in there. Headlight is flush. When you run your finger along here, you're gonna notice there's a slight piece right here that comes out, that's normal. Should be flush here, should be flush here. And the main thing is just make sure it lines up with the two bolts, and it does. Also make sure that your cord is not tucked in there because you're gonna have to take it out and do it all over again. Before we tighten these up all the way, I'm gonna just double check the lights, make sure they do work, both of them turn on. And there they are. In case you forget which bulk holes goes where, it's easy enough to figure it out. But one with the larger thread goes actually right here next to the intake. Feed that one in. Don't go all the way. I don't want the tiny thread. Black bolt is on the top piece here. Get started just a little bit by hand. Now we're gonna go down between the housing. just to leave them in. So those are tightened up. Now we're gonna go back and tighten these. Find it easier if you put these in and tighten it up a little bit before you put the plug in. That way when you're pressing the plug in, you don't accidentally push the housing back out and have to realign it. These are all the same size Torx T25. You can also use the T27. T27 might actually be the exact size. The T25 works just fine. So now let's take the plug, pull wire down underneath the intake so it looks nice and clean. Slide it on, make sure it snaps in, and there it is. Give it a pull, and it's not coming out. Double check the other one. That's in, it doesn't come out. Last piece of the puzzle, that's in, it's good to go. So I looked at some reviews on Amazon for the light kit that I got, for the most part, I'd say nine out of 10 of them were all positive reviews. The 10th one would be a review saying that the bulbs burn out in two days or they didn't work to begin with. Yeah, it could have something to do with shipping. Maybe a filament was broken, bulb was cracked. Uh, this is the second day now and they're still working fine. This is the selfie shot of the show. Actually, I'm just trying to get different angles and uh, I don't feel like going outside right now. It's a little too frigid. So I'm seeing I'm getting a decent amount of views now. Hoping that means everyone's liking my videos, liking the content I'm putting up. Hopefully the quality is getting better and it's just gonna continue to get better. If 
you have any ideas or you have any uh, thoughts about the video, any things I can do to change it, anything you might like to see on top of what I'm already doing, please comment below. I'd love to hear it. Anybody, I don't care what it is, negative, positive, whatever, it's all positive to me because I like to just hear what my viewers think about what I'm doing. Uh, that way I can continue to grow and continue to learn. If you like the content, just click subscribe here. We post some videos weekly. This is King Lines. Thank you, sir. And thank you for coming. Peace.